Let's check your work. In this time period, the reflected V1 minus wave has had enough time to reach the generator where it could create a second positive traveling wave, which we'll call V2 plus. You can calculate the amplitude of V2 plus and I2 plus using a reflection coefficient at the generator, which you can see here. It has the same form as the reflection coefficient at the load, except you're using RG, which is equal to 3Z naught, instead of RL. Lastly, notice that the switch is still closed, so we still have V1 plus all along that transmission line as well as a V1 minus. Here is a movie created from the computer code solving the telegrapher's equations for the problem you just solved. This movie shows the total voltage along the entire transmission line over time. So we get V1 plus Here's V1 minus and V1 plus, and then V2 plus is added on top of that, and it keeps going. You can see it's trending towards a particular value. Here is a movie created, oops, sorry, I meant to go to the next one, play this one. Here is a movie created from the same computer code, but this one plots the current. You'll notice a different behavior of the current, and this is because it has a different reflection coefficient at the load and at the generator. Now, what if we had this transmission line scenario in real life? Say we know what generator we have, the voltage level and internal resistance. We also know what the impedance of the load is, and the characteristic impedance of the transmission line, Z0. Naught. Z naught. How could we figure out if everything is behaving as expected? This is related to our design challenge. Let's assume for the moment everything is working well. Can we run a, tr a test to prove it? Keep in mind from our design challenge, you should not expect to be able to access the entire length of the transmission line since it could be buried deep inside the airplane. And also, we do not want to damage the wires while testing them. How would you suggest we carry out this test? You could pause the video if you like. Even if we could access the entire transmission line, we can't sample the voltage everywhere along it to see if it's at the level we're expecting without making holes or slits in the transmission line. And we don't want to alter or damage the aircraft wiring while testing it. So instead, where are the easiest places to sample the voltage and current on this transmission line? At the ends. Let's consider sampling the voltage at just the generator end. We just made plots of the voltages and currents along the trans entire transmission line at specific instances in time. Certainly we can extract some information from the analysis we just did to make a plot of what the voltage would look like at the generator end versus time. Indeed we can. Assume it takes the wave a capital T seconds to propagate down the transmission line. Use the results you just obtained during the three moments in time to make these plots. So you're plotting V versus time at the, gener at the generator. So this is at here, it's written right here, Z is equal to zero. And also plot the current at Z equals zero versus time.